one, the green and blue lights of the flight controller indicator only represent whether the flight controller has collected enough GPS signals, not the flight mode. The flight mode of the helicopter should be subject to the position of the flight mode switch on the transmitter on the screen display. Tutorial on taking off. Step 1. Switch all the switches on the remote control up to make sure the start switch is in the off position stop and switch the mode switch to GPS. Step 2. Move the helicopter to an open outdoor area with no people, avoiding buildings, trees, power lines, signal towers, and other sources of interference. After the helicopter is powered on, dot the flight control indicator light will show a yellow flash. Step 3. Dot after waiting for a few minutes, the flight controller emits a prompt tone, and at the same time, the indicator light changes to a slow green flashing state. Indicating that enough GPS signals have been collected and the takeoff conditions have been met. I'll let you continue to wait until the green fast flash, the GPS signal will be better. Step 4. Takeoff unlock. Push the left joystick horizontally to the right and the right joystick vertically down and wait for a few seconds. When the flight control indicator light turns into a constantly on green light with a long beep sound, it indicates that the aircraft has been unlocked and can take off at any time. Note, before takeoff, make sure to check again that the remote controller switch and screen are in GPS mode. Step 5. During the period when the green light is constantly on, switch the start switch located on the far left from off stop to on run, and the helicopter will begin to start the motor. Step 6. After waiting for the helicopter's speed to stabilize, push up the throttle lever, and the helicopter will take off slowly. If you release both hands, the helicopter will hover in the air. Note 2. Please ensure that the flight mode is in GPS mode, the joystick is in the GPS position, and the remote control screen displays GPS. Before unlocking the helicopter, once the helicopter is unlocked, the helicopter will lock the current flight mode and cannot be changed until after takeoff. For example, an incorrect operation instance, before the helicopter is unlocked, it is in manual 6G or ATT mode. After unlocking the helicopter, you find that the flight mode is not GPS mode, to then directly switch the flight mode from 6G or on mode to GPS mode. But the helicopter will still be in 6G or ATT mode at this time, because the helicopter locks the flight mode once it is unlocked, and the flight mode can only be changed after relocking. After the helicopter takes off, it is unable to self-locate, which leads to a crash. When you find that the flight mode you are using is not GPS mode, you should shut down the engine immediately. Then lock the helicopter, switch the flight mode to GPS mode, unlock the helicopter again, start the helicopter's motor, and after the speed stabilizes, push the stick to take off. Introduction to flight mode Three different flight modes can be achieved by switching the toggle on the remote controller. GPS through GPS satellite positioning, functions such as self-stabilizing flight, fixed height and point, and automatic hovering in the air can be achieved, making it suitable for newcomers without 3D flight experience. ATT, no GPS positioning function, could achieve fixed height flight, but cannot fix the point. Manual control is needed to avoid the helicopter offset. The operation is relatively complex, with a certain risk of crash, suitable for players with a little 3D flight experience. 6G no GPS positioning function, no fixed height or point. Manual control of the joystick is required throughout the process to keep the helicopter balanced at all times. The operation is very complex, with a high risk of crashing, suitable and experienced players who have mastered skills.